I'm sure you've heard more criticism of her tonight than you can stand. Oh, yeah, I'm, hey, I'm right there criticizing with everyone else. I mean, I don't know how she could have done that. I guess I just bought into the pretty facade that she's always put on for everyone else. Everyone else buys into it. She's my own mother. This must be help for you, honey. Oh, come on. I mean, first she lies to me all those years about who my real father was, and now this. Well, she's ruined a, a marriage. She's, she's ruined a whole family is what she's done. I mean, I don't know how she lives with herself. But I'll tell you one thing. I, I, am, I am grateful for one thing, Gwen, and that's the fact that you would never deceive me like that. You have been truthful and honest with me ever since boarding school. And I want you to know that it's important to me. Well, you know, maybe um, in her own way, Ivy was just trying to do the right thing. Don't you dare try to justify her because I don't have one speck of tolerance for that kind of behavior. I'm just glad that we don't have those kind of secrets between us. Yeah, I mean, no way, you know, I'm... No, Teresa. No, you're not. You have never lied to me. Teresa has. Many times. I don't really feel like dancing. I... Come on, you need to cheer up. It's Halloween! You know, I took some very, very cute pictures of Jane and little Ethan in their costumes earlier. I can't wait for you to see them. Yeah, this is the one Halloween I will not forget. You know why? Because we have our very own God-honest monster in town. She's sitting right over there, and it's my mom. You think of how many lives that she's hurt? You know, look, I know it hurts, but, but try not to think about it, okay? We can talk about it more rationally in the morning. I do wish there was something more I could do for you, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Just knowing that I can trust you is enough. But I'll tell you, if anybody else ever lies to me about something that important ever again, I'm scared as to what I would do.